Hello everyone, and welcome to the third special level, which is based on a previous Psygnosis game called Awesome. The music sounds really odd here. The uh, CD version of this song is way better. It's, it gets a little better, I think, but... Again, this is another one of those... All the special levels are like this. Even the one in Mayhem will be. They're just standard blocker track levels. So yeah, I would hesitate to kind of say probably that this is an awesome level. It certainly looks awesome. These space worms look really neat. But there are some things you have to be careful about in this level because not everything is as it seems. For example, these uh, background stars. Nothing in this game is background. If you run into the stars, you can hit them and end up turning around. Let's go ahead and uh, dig at the edge here so I don't end up hitting on that guy's little ear fin type thing and go ahead and build this way. But yeah, this is another standard uh, build to the exit type level. You get 20 of everything, so uh, you can pretty easily recover from most jams. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bash early. I don't think I'm going to need 20 bashers, but I mean, I guess you never know. But yeah, there's a lot of building to be done in this level, so there's going to be a lot of uh, pausing and coming back. Like right now. And unlike in uh, the previous level, Hunt Your Nessie, you can use digging to your major advantage here. Like, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some mining and some digging so I don't end up running into this star-type thing. I may end up running into it anyway, but I don't think I will. But yeah, that's the only thing, really, is that some of these stars can really uh, trip you up. I remember some of them being bigger, actually. Like, oh, see? My head uh, totally ran into that star there, so I may have a little bit of a... May have a little bit of trouble sneaking past that, but if I do a stretchy bridge, probably not. And it's just a simple build to the exit on top of the, I guess, King Worm's head? I don't know. Huh, <laughs> King Worm. That rhymes with Ring Worm. Although I think having King Worm would be a lot cooler. See, like, watch this. I'm probably going to bonk my head on this star and end up turning around. Yeah, see? There's no such thing as a background object in Lemmings. And I actually feel as though I might start to run a little low on builders. I don't think that's going to be a major problem. But yeah, one way you can make this level move really quickly is to do that whole kind of mining to end your bridges early thing. In fact, one way we can really get ahead here is to start building from here. This little horn right here, I think, is going to do it for us. Yeah, I think the hardest part of this level is probably building to the exit. Notice how I'm using stretchy bridges to my advantage here. Just barely gonna make it out of here, I do think. So let's go back and bomb the other guys. But yeah, that's probably the most difficult. This is definitely a more difficult level than Menacing was. But again, not really that hard. And the time limit is not even an issue either. You get less time than you have in other special levels to this point. Make sure all these guys can make it. We've got a safe path going here. I do believe we do. So that's it for Awesome. It's got a much cooler song on the CD version of the soundtrack. It's like... It's way more epic, and there's not all this grinding noise like what's going on right here. Yeah, it doesn't sound all, like, grindy up against everything. But yeah, I like the design of the level. It's fun to look at. But as far as just cool levels go, um, I think, I think this is probably the least cool special level. Uh, the next one in Mayhem is going to be pretty awesome. The one before this was really already, uh, you know, set the bar for scary. Menacing is really cool. And the first one just kind of takes you by surprise. You're like, whoa, whoa, what is this? So uh, they all kind of really have a neat gimmick to them, except this one. But this one's still cool, don't get me wrong. It's just, eh, whatever. Okay, by this point you should know how to compensate for a relative lack of floaters. So, this one is not really as hard as advertised. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make this guy float, float, and then... Okay, good. Woo! That was a little too close for comfort. For shit! That is totally not what I meant to do! Okay, this time I'm not going to be a hero. Oh, wow, I, and I kind of knocked some time off the clock there, too. That wasn't so great. So, let's just go ahead and uh, make the first two guys floaters, regardless of how long it's going to take them to get to the bottom. And guy number two has to be a blocker. Three has to be a blocker. Now, here's what we're going to do. We have to compensate for our lack of floaters, so what we need to do is one guy needs to start building around here and turn around and start building this way. 
this guy can go on for a little bit. We can go ahead and build bridge number one right here. And once he starts, once he starts bridge number two, we're gonna cut back to the other guy. So we're gonna go to him and we're gonna build to make him turn around. And he is gonna start building from roughly the base of this thick rod right here, once he steps off the steel. And so this guy goes on, and now we have to alternate bridges. Both of them are building at an alternating pace, so we can go from one to the other fairly easily. So we click him, the other guy starts running out of bridges, and he is done. Now this guy just needs to build all the way from here to the wall, which we will uh, finish up in just a second as soon as we uh, start on his next bridge. Okay, he's just about done, so let's go ahead and blow up our blocker now. I really hope that's not splat height. I think, well, we cut it a little close there, but I think they should be able to make that drop just fine. I guess we'll see in a second, though, won't we? Do I still have the release rate up? At, oh, my God, I need to get that to 99 pronto tonto. Okay, yes, that is a perfectly safe drop good. And then from there, you know, they can just walk the exit pretty easily. And another one done. X marks the spot, and boy does it ever. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. We only have to save 90%, so I'm not going to be too worried about casualties here. I'm going to get started mining with this guy. And the first one is going to go ahead. I think the second one is going to escape his grasp, but like I said, I'm not that worried about casualties. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build here to stop it. And then I'm going to build from roughly right... Right here, I think, should do the trick. So now I'm going to go this way, and last time we went to the left to escape this level. The exits are right out in the open, right over here. But now, now the level's called X marks the spot. Okay, he's not going to make it over, is he? Okay, good, they're all fine. So now once he drops from here, we're going to start him building from roughly right here. And we're going to go to the very top of this wall right here. Okay, he bumped right into that point. That's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted him to do. So now I'm going to have him build to hit his head, turn around, and I'm going to start bashing once I get to this little tippy corner right here. And once we do that, we're going to need to build a zigzag bridge up the way here so that we can get to the top route. The top route is how we're going to ensure our success here. So once you get this in line, I think I may have actually gone a little too early. No, perfect. Now you just need to build a zigzag staircase till you're roughly somewhere up near the top of the screen. We only have a few builders, so this will be difficult to pull off without a hitch, but I think we can do it. Now this part might prove a little difficult because he's going to hit his head a few times. But we need to be sure to seal the gap for the other guys. So, now he's coming this way. Excellent, excellent. And we're going to run out of builders pretty much, but that is... A-okay. But we need to save our bashers and our miners because we don't get very many of these things. So they need to be saved for activities of the utmost importance, like what we're doing up in this little nook for whatever reason. So now, we are going to begin a series of bashings and minings, starting now. Okay, we're about out of here. Here comes bashing number two. Again, he's going to fall through the point. Here comes number three. Now, we only have one basher left, so we are going to have to mine our way to the exit, which is actually behind this X. And I, could, I just kind of was playing around in the fun version of the level, and I was like, there's got to be something over here. They wouldn't make this big old background and put it there for no reason, would they? No, absolutely not. They are going to... They did actually put an exit over here, and it is going to be my goal today to attempt to uh, reach that somehow. It's much easier with diggers, obviously, which is what makes this taxing. So we are going to do it with miners instead. I think we're going to want to do it from about... Probably right here will be nice. I'm going to start from this corner. Now let's see how far down he gets. There he is! You can see he is unveiling the door. The question now is, will he actually make a, uh, will he actually make a hole? I don't think he will, that they can get down into, so I think I started too early, actually. But, he will make a, uh, he'll make a little indentation there, and that won't be a problem for everyone else, I don't think. We'll see, though. 
let's go ahead and go back to the beginning here and see we built out so we have one we have one builder everybody should make it out just fine Since we have to save 90%, let's see if we can bust this hole wide open with some bombers. Three, two, one. Are my calculations correct? I do believe they are. <laughs> yes! And that is one way to do it, certainly. I thought I'd just have a little fun and try to do it this way. I certainly made that level a lot more fun than it would have been otherwise, I do think. This is where we're going to call it a day, I do believe. This one is a bit of a right toughie. So we are going to get right down to it. You'll notice we only have one floater. He's not really going to come in handy because there are only a few tools we have to beat this level. And most of them are going to revolve around building. We have to build a zigzag staircase out of here. We can basically save like one guy if we happen to screw this up. But what we're going to do is we're going to build a zigzag staircase. And what you may have noticed is that if you bomb a lemming and he's going through the air, he'll skip the oh no part and he'll just detonate immediately when he gets to zero. That kind of comes into play here and we're going to be trying to do that as we go up to the top of this structure here. You see it's much more difficult now than it was in, a, than it was in the fun rating. The arrows kind of uh, meld over into whatever structure you're building. I've always enjoyed that. But we are going to build our zigzag staircase, and once we get near the top of the structure, we will return to uh, show you what the solution is going to kind of be here. I don't know why I just did two builders there. That was bizarre. Okay, we are approaching the top of the structure here. We're going to have our guy build. And once we start pouring into the top, we're going to have to make one a bomber. Roughly, I think about right here is where he has to be bombed. And he will have to blow out this little corner of the structure right here. Nope, that was actually too late, and now everybody's going cursed splat. That's precisely what we did not want to happen. Okay, let's try this again. I think we're going to want to do this from about... That could be dangerous, actually. Okay, nobody went cursed splat. I think I did it too early there, actually, so what we may need to do is have a bunch of guys... No, I did that too early. It's too late for them anyway. You can sometimes stave off the uh, onslaught of splatting by having a bunch of guys behind the bomber go ahead and build to kind of you know stall them but of course this is just gonna be a disaster anyway so whatever I did it too early all right I think we're gonna want to do it just as soon as somebody starts popping up on this step right here five four three two one no two five six okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with that I don't know how many women survive there I don't know what 86% of 75 is because percentages can sometimes be really wonky in this game, but I hope we made it. So hopefully we can call it a day right there. I am a little bit iffy about our chances, but you have to bomb that very corner right there. I don't know why I didn't follow my own advice about building to keep the guys behind him back, but hopefully it works out for the best, and I think it's going to actually. Come on, come on, we need over 86%.